Lucky here and we're at the Mandra Hotel in Preston in Melbourne and I have here Craig Foster. Craig, could you introduce yourself please? Well, yes, my name is Craig Foster and uh, I'm here at the Mantra, sadly, uh, with uh, many refugees, around 60 are still locked up in here. Uh, over a year, most of them, uh, and they've been previously six years on Manus Island. So uh, it's horrible to see that it's even possible to happen in Australia, but sadly it is, and we need to get the news out that this needs to end. Now, today is World Human Rights Day, so there's been a special protest here, but there's one every day here. You've been um, going to Canberra. What, who have you been talking to and what are, you, what are you asking for and what are your hopes? Yeah. So um, the first thing is, the first people I've been talking to is the guys inside. And we can hear one of Moz Azimi's uh, songs. You know, that he did this song when he was uh, locked away on Manus Island, actually. Of course, he's released a couple uh, uh, recently. And uh, it was good to hear the new song from Farhad Bandesh earlier as well. So the reason I mention that is because, uh, you know, a year ago I went to Port Moresby, met them there, and I asked them what they needed. And I'm in constant contact with them because it's their lives. You know, it's not my advocacy, it's their lives. And they're in control of it. So I constantly ask them, what do you need from me? Uh, so, uh, you know, what we're uh, calling on the Australian government to do is firstly to accept the New Zealand deal for everyone offshore to go. That, and that deal's been there for, that offer's been there for seven years, for 150 people a year, so it should already be brought to an end. Um, it's, it's, uh, if it wasn't uh, so traumatic, it would be comical the fact that, you know, that hasn't been accepted by Australia as a country. So, make that happen. And for, you know, all of the Medivac uh, guys who came, you know, they need to be released in the community. It's, this is, you know, we need to get beyond this now. It's ridiculous. What Australians need to know is that there's 800 other refugees from Manus and Nauru who came for medical reasons who are in communities. And so this 200 here in Darwin and in, uh, and in Brisbane are simply locked in hotels purely course they came on that legislation it's purely a political decision it's got nothing to do with anything else and that's the most important thing for every Australian to understand is that these guys um, you know had they been one day before that legislation they've been community one day after they've been community uh, simply that during that period they had the misfortune of coming on that legislation and sadly that's where Australia is at right now we need to end it now you've been lobbying in Canberra who did you meet with did you get a hearing with anybody who can make a decision and have you got any hopes of well look, there's there's a public and private lobbying and so um you know we're speaking with everyone who's uh in key decision making positions yes uh and so um yeah look um where you know, I'm hopeful that we can uh, make something happen here. In fact, I'm sh I'm sure that it will happen because I think um, increasing number of Australians are rightly saying that you know enough. I mean, obviously, um, but you know, the more the news gets out of what's happened to these guys, you know, Australians are, are are agreeing with us that this shouldn't be what is possible in this country. Yeah. Do you see a role for state government in this one? It's been seen as a federal issue. Should yeah. should the Victorian government do be doing something about these guys locked up here? Yeah, well, I, I, look, I think it's it's horrible for you know Dan Andrews and the Victorian government to be allowing this to happen. Um, you know, we heard recently as well about some sort of secret um, A pod, so to speak. You know, in Frankston. Um, and so all of the local community, all of the MPs, you know, all of us, all of state MPs uh, and federal should all be saying the same thing. That is that this just can't happen here. Not, not in Australia, surely. And, and you know, the worst part is, I mean, you know, we, we like to judge other countries commonly. And I speak about the Uyghurs in China frequently, you know, and, and, and I ran a campaign for a young Bahraini refugee and I was happy to smash Bahrain, royal family. Uh, or the Thai king or the Thai government. And so it's, uh, it's perfectly fine to call out you know, human rights abuse in other countries, but not if this is happening here. So you know, we need to recognise that we have abuses, not just, of course, Indigenous Australians, but uh, what's happened here with refugees and asylum seekers is a human rights abuse on a really horrible level that's occurred in our country for a long time. And what we would need you, to accept that and bring it to an end. And what would you and the guys, so when you when you speak to the refugees here, what do they want Australians to do? Uh, they want Australians to call on their local members, to call on their state members, to call on their 
politicians at all levels to stop this, okay, to bring this to an end. Uh, because ultimately it comes down to policy uh, and that has to change. So for all of us, you know, we, we all have different tools to use. You know, one of mine is to, to use my various platforms to speak to broader Australia and to get the news out about what's happening. Uh, and for every single Australian, the, the best thing they can do is write to their local member, call them and say, I'm aware of what's happening here and this is a, a political issue for me. This is an issue on which I'm going to judge people who are in any leadership capacity in this country. Because if you support this, then in our view, that's not leadership. That's not leadership. It's not, um, it shouldn't be political leadership. It's certainly not moral leadership. Uh, and this is not what should be occurring in Australia. So to the extent that that can happen, more Australians raise their voice through, that, through the democratic system. That's important. Fantastic, Craig. Thank you very much. Okay.